Oh, Dorothy, a man called for you while you were out. Finally, now we can break out that bottle of champagne we've been saving. Nah. Come on, Dorothy, we might not get another chance. Oh, sure we will. We can just serve it at the wake. <laughs> He says he's in Miami on business and he wants to see you. Uh, well, John Reddy called. I haven't heard from him in almost 40 years. Oh, I can't believe this. Who's John Reddy? Oh, he's a guy who humiliated me. Could you narrow it down a bit, Dorothy? <laughs> he's the guy who stood me up for my senior prom. Oh, Dorothy, I had no idea you were stood up for your prom. Oh, that's awful. I figured you didn't go, but to be stood up. No, oh, John Naretti was one of the toughest guys in my high school. He smoked, he drank, he made those rude noises under his armpit. I was totally in love with him. Uh, and when he asked me to go to the senior prom, I was thrilled. Oh, when I came down the stairs all dressed, Ma cried because her little girl was all grown up. Uh, and she remarked that that night would always be the most memorable and important night that the two of us ever shared. Do you remember, Ma? Vaguely. <laughs> but John never showed up. I've never forgotten it. <laughs> but apparently he has, or he wouldn't have had the nerve to call here. You're not gonna call him back, are you? Oh, absolutely. If John comes to Miami, I wanna see him. I don't think that's such a good idea, pussycat. Ma, don't you see? When John Naretti gets here, I'm finally going to get my revenge. He's going to see a beautiful, vibrant woman who's done something with her life. Well, Dorothy, I'd like to help, but... <laughs> go out with him on such short notice. I meant done something with her life standing up. <laughs> I'm talking about me. Oh, my revenge will be to make John feel as bad as he made me feel. I want him to see me, see my life, so he'll know exactly what he missed. She doesn't know a whole lot about revenge, does she? <laughs>